Hi, my name is Malcolm and I'm a PSLE Science Specialist here at the Big Lab. Welcome to another episode of PSLE Science Made Simple. In this video, I'll be going through a past year examination question on the topic of materials. I've also prepared this question for you to download for free by clicking a link in the description box below. So let's get started. Question 13. Bala bought a toy duck for his baby sister to play with while bathing in her bathtub that is filled with water. Now his baby sister loves squeezing this floating toy duck to make a squeaky sound and she also plays with the toy by throwing it around. So now they want us to find out which material do we think the toy duck is made of. Now if you look at the options below, we are given three different properties of the four materials. We need to find out whether is it flexible, waterproof, and strong. So looking at the information given above, do you think that the toy duck has to be flexible? Think about it carefully. If you look at the information above, which statement actually tells you about the flexibility of this toy duck? The statement is when the baby sister loves squeezing the floating toy duck. Now think about this. In order to squeeze the toy duck, that means this toy duck must be able to bend. So I'm going to write this out over here. We know that it can bend. And if this toy duck is able to bend, is it flexible? Definitely. So I'm going to write down, yes, we should choose a material that is flexible. Now, not only that, we also need to find out whether it is waterproof. Now, remember from the question above, Bala's baby sister loves to play with this toy duck when she is what? When she is bathing in her bathtub. And this bathtub is filled with what? Filled with water. So in order for her to play with the toy duck in the bathtub filled with water, must it be waterproof? Definitely. Now, why do you think it must be waterproof? Now, imagine if the toy duck was made of paper and she plays with it in the water. What would happen to the paper toy duck? The paper toy duck would absorb the water. And when it absorbs the water, what will happen to the toy duck? It will sink and can she play with it? No. So that's why we know if she's playing it in a bathtub filled with water, we know this toy duck must be waterproof. Now lastly, we need to find out whether this toy duck is going to be strong. Now remember from the question above, they already said the sister loves to play with the toy by doing what? By throwing it around, you know. Now imagine if this toy duck was made of glass and she throws the toy duck around. What would happen to the toy duck? The toy duck would break. But in order for her to keep playing with this toy duck, does it break easily? No. So I'm going to write this down. It does not break easily. And if the toy duck doesn't break easily, do you think it is strong? Definitely. So I'm going to write this out. Yes, it is strong. So from this, we can match this to the correct answer already. So if you look at all the options, which is the best possible answer? The answer should be option 3. Thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you found this video useful, do give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to check out more videos by us, do click on the links on the right hand side. Last but not least, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos. Thank you and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!